Right, I think my battery's going in camera. Um, so I've un unpacked them. So these, or should I say this, is one of the manifolds that I'm going to cut down for said carburetors. Um, I don't know if you can remember my previous video where I said I'd, I could cut it straight down middle there. And we'll see how it goes. Um, now obviously the Thunder Race engine is at a, an angle. In fact, do you know what? If that angle's right, that's going to be perfect, isn't it? Oh, I need to get it on a bloody head and try it, don't I? So that's that. That's obviously the other one. Because obviously I need one for each cylinder. <gasps> right. Let's look at these bad boys. Let's see what this uh, this is. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Have you ever tried snapping to salt it with one hand? Ooh. Just like that. Right. Bloody hell, oh my god, right guys, let's look at this, oh what's that, um, looks like they're the jets off it or something, or, or whatever, look at them babies, imagine two of them, off a Thunder Ace engine. Oh my god. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right. I think what I need to do is uh, I need to set up a head at the same angle in my shed because I've got a spare head up there. Don't I? And I need to bolt these on and just see if there's somewhere near or whatever. And then we'll be able to have a rough idea. These are downdraft ones by the way so the carburetors will should actually sit like this. So if I just put that on there and just try and balance it a little bit on there. Oh my god, I think they're gonna to be too big. They should go like that, shouldn't they? Anyway, like I said in my previous vid, I'm doing this. A bit of R&D, research and development. And if it works, you guys can watch it back and do it yourself. If it doesn't work, then I'll just fucking put these on Marketplace and sell them on. Cool. Right. Um, I will do another video after this, just to show you the head set up in the shed and we'll go from there.